Ellen, I'm going to try something a little different. I've been trying to get through these Tyler Henry episodes, evaluate them, the different ones. But the problem is I'm having, I'm running into is that YouTube is, is blocking what I, what I put up because the video I'm showing. So I'm going to give you a link to the video and you can watch it on your own if you'd like, probably right before I do this and hear what you hear. I mean, they're very short. They're maybe five or six minutes long. It's not a long re uh, reading, but I'm going to play the audio and then I'm going to stop and start. And let's, let's go through it that way because I'm challenging the other video um, that has just been blocked, but it could take a month. So I really like to get this out there and I don't want to be stopped too much. So we all know what Tyler Henry looks like. I could probably crop in some pictures of him if you really want to. But I will try to explain it. Maybe that will speed things up a little bit. <clears throat> but l let's just go with it. Bear with me because, you know, this is, I'm doing what I can do. So what we're going to listen to today is Matt Lauer. And he was <clears throat> on a TV show. He was a reporter. And he was uber famous. He was like Mr. TV. He was so, um, he, he was on Dateline. He was on, um, I'm looking I'm looking at his Wikipedia page here, NBC's Today Show. He was on it from 1997 to 2017. It was a really big deal. So he was a very confident man. He was uh, married for a long time. And he had children and uh, he was just a very personable kind of guy. So what ends up happening in Matt Lauer, you may or may not know, is that in 2017, he starts getting accused of having relationships with people that are inappropriate. A lot of them are people from his workplace. And I believe there was accusations of, uh, you know, his subordinates people underneath him were being targeted by him and it was inappropriate and he was ostracized and he's become the butt of jokes. He was fired. Um, I don't know if there's been any court cases. I don't believe there has been. I, I just, what happened to him has just been like, if you say the name Matt Lauer <clears throat> to, in, to people who knew about this back in 2017, it's a it's a joke, right? So it's like, oh, it's a joke now. Matt Lauer, ha ha. I mean, his wife left him and hopefully she's living the best life possible. Her name is Annette. Hopefully she's having a wonderful life now. Hopefully his kids have moved on. I know Matt has apparently got a girlfriend. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry. And it's it's been it's been a mess. His life has been an absolute mess. The things he's accused of doing to other women were beyond inappropriate it wasn't just a little handsy you know kissing behind the water cooler stuff it was apparently he had a button in the room where he could push and the doors would lock in the room and of his office and look it up it's pretty bad so let's get to the let's get to this reading that with matt lauer i believe it happens right around right before um the uh he's fired which was really interesting because as you'll hear in the reading that that um, Tyler Henry is about to do, there's no mention of it. There's no mention of this impeding doom that's about to come over uh, Matt Lauer and his life. His wife leaving him. He's becoming the butt of jokes. He's fired. He's just, it's, his life just implodes in on him very, very soon after this reading that Tyler Henry did, does with him. And Tyler Henry is going to get in contact with his father, which is really interesting. So the reading isn't very long. You know, a lot of people talk about Tyler Henry looking up people before he goes on to their show. And yeah, it's so easy for him to do. He, The information he can gain from this person that he's going to read can be done very simply. He just goes in and, and does... Um, a quick search on the guy's Wikipedia page and you only need a couple things plus just knowing who people are in general 
you know something about these people. He's in Hollywood. He knows all these people. And he's been on this show before. So what we're going to hear first is just really quick. I'll play this a little bit. And then I'm going to interrupt because I want to make sure you hear this, what's about to happen. We've had Tyler on the show before to do some readings, and he always insists on not knowing who his subject will be. So while I didn't know what to expect from our conversation, neither did he. Hello. Hello, Tyler. How are you? Wow. How are you, Matt? I'm great. It's great to see what you. What a pleasure to see you again. How have you been? Amazing. How have you been? I've been nervous. I don't understand the process to be. Okay. So this is not Matt Lauer's first time meeting Tyler Henry. Tyler Henry's been on the show before. So he knows Matt Lauer. All right. So Tyler's kind of like, oh, hi, Matt. I didn't know it was going to be you kind of thing. And Matt Lauer is like, Oh, great to see you, Tyler. I'm really nervous about this. Thanks for being on the show again. So Pat already knows this, this guy. Now, some of the things he's going to reveal to Matt are what I would just call cold reading. So this thing about him um, must insisting that he shouldn't know the person ahead of time is a little bit of that the woman doth protest too much kind of thing you know they, they overemphasize in that so i'm not so sure about that but let's give tyler the benefit of the doubt let's see what he comes up with perfectly honest with okay. you i'll explain it tyler started by asking for a pocket knife i brought he didn't know it once belonged to my maternal grandfather but as he had just explained sometimes other people insist on making their presence known oh, okay so Okay, he so Tyler has this thing, and it's just like his scribbling stuff. It's like all kinds of stuff they use in the psychic world to make him look more psychic. Because if you watch the primer that I have up on the channel right now, you'll understand who Tyler is, how he was created, how this man is not um, a long time established psychic. He's kind of putting together the tools of the trade as he goes. So check out that video if you get a chance. It's here on my channel somewhere. And so he's got a, he's asked for an object. So Matt Lauer hands him a pocket watch. Now Matt Lauer is saying, this pocket watch belonged to my maternal grandfather. And then he makes an excuse for Tyler and says, oh, but he didn't get him. He didn't get my maternal grandfather. My father wanted to come through. So kind of that's like a miss, right? Because if if the object is supposed to bring forth the person who it belonged to, Matt Lauer's maternal grandfather, then that is the person who should come through. But because Matt's father wants to come through, he's just going to talk to him about it. So in other words, it's a miss. It's a giant miss. It's it's an excuse that Tyler Henry is able to use, and Matt Lauer is, to give this excuse to him, that, I mean, it's so glaringly obvious. I don't know why we don't notice that kind of thing. So, <laughs> the object does not elicit what it's supposed to. Tyler attributes it to his father and not his grandfather. All right, let's continue. have a few people coming through, but I first want to start with this man who is insisting to connect. This doesn't come through as like a grandfather, but this is coming through in a fatherly kind of an essence. Okay, this man is immediately going to have me talk about the passing. Let's see. Okay, so again, there's more evidence there that Tyler was, he wanted, it's very common for these mediums, what they do is they judge the person's age and they say, their parent is probably not alive, their grandfather is probably not alive, and so the you know, whatever age that they think the person is, they will make a judgment of an older man or an older woman who's coming through who wants to talk to you. And then a lot of times they'll pause. Tyler is a king of pause. And then people want to interject. Um, maybe this is crop. So Tyler is pauses aren't so long. Maybe this interview is much longer. We don't know. And it's been cropped down. But we do know that Tyler is saying, I'm getting an older person who's coming through and it doesn't feel like a grandfather. Who could that possibly be? You showed me the symbol of a phone being held to one's ear when they're in an unconscious state and being held like it's okay to be able to pass. 
when they show that symbol that to me always acknowledges you know they were ultimately told by family it's okay like you don't have to hold on and there's a feeling of appreciation with where he was when he actually died okay what was that so he's in declining health before he dies an older man okay what's the odds of that um his family tells him so that it's okay to pass <clears throat> okay that's common and he's getting a symbol of a phone that's another one of the psychic things as i said tyler henry's trying to use all these different devices that he's been trained at, now that he's been created by this uh, network to be the psychic he's pulling in a lot of different things that psychics use and the idea that they get they get symbols that mean something like if i see if i get the symbol a cardinal the bird that means that they're sending you wishes from the other side or i'm seeing a dove which means peace and it's a symbol that they get in their head it's just they're making it up all right so now the tyler's going to tell him that the man who felt bad before he died was happy about living at home before he died and he got to be at a good place so still tyler has not said this is his father tyler has just said an older man wants to come through and the older man was told by his family that it's okay to go his health is declining and that he was at peace being at home no mention of matt lauer's dad just yet but matt's thinking that's my dad because this is motivated listening by the sitter they want the reading to go well so therefore they tend to jump to conclusions or they jump to insert themselves into the conversation or they're making excuses for them they're trying to help the psychic be more in contact with their loved one and that's very common there's a feeling of appreciation it's like i i refuse to die surrounded by doctors dying in a hospital withering away whether he knew it or not tyler was talking about my father who passed away in 1997 at his request he spent the last few weeks of his life at home under hospice care so he's showing photos of him with his his father and and well who wouldn't want to pass away at home why would you want to pass away at the hospital with the doctors and all that other uh, nonsense and you know beeping machines and tubes and stuff like that of course we would rather pass away at home if we have to pass away in that way i mean i don't know maybe i'd like to pass away skydiving you know at 110 or something. <laughs> I don't know. you know i mean if i get to choose but if you're going to have declining health and you have to pass away staying at home is probably a good idea so this is matt lauer making excuses for why um tyler is getting his dad okay so he's just he's just claiming that it's his dad tyler in his mind still has not decided who it is that he's making this for thankful for the steps that were taken for him to not pass away in the traditional kind of facility um that's really important for him and the way that comes across so you know it's a lot to take in i haven't asked what makes sense and what doesn't thus far but i haven't told <laughs> you who it is either good a lot of good Interesting. He's showing me a reference to like a coin, and I don't know why this is coming through in the way that it is, but he's showing me, and, and it may, may not click right now, but he's referencing to these coins. I mean, it's a coin collection. It's like a very random, specific, old, archaic thing. I have a couple of silver dollars from him, but not a, a lot. Okay. Just a couple. It's actually a reference to having three, and then I feel like I have to acknowledge either missing one or misplacing one. I'm going to talk about two. Uh, how many do you have knowing that? I think I have two. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a third. I think I have two. Wow. Yes. You do? Thanks, Dad. Thank you for coming from the great beyond and having a conversation with me with this world famous Tyler Henry and telling me to look for the missing coin. He still hasn't said it's dad, by the way. He's still talking about an older man. It could be, it could be any older man in his life. And, and he did say, I don't think it's a grandfather, but any older man, any man older than Matt Lauer is coming through and wants to talk about a missing coin in a collection wow that's life-changing thank you i'm sure matt's going to go home right away after this and start looking for the the, the third coin 
showing me a vision of a bird flying into my house and having to get this bird and like trap this bird it is the funniest thing. I don't know if you have to like run up and like grab a box, to, like capture it and throw it out. There's a funny instance about this and it is specific. So I have to verbalize it. Okay. So not only does does Tyler not tell him where to find this missing coin in the house, which would have been really helpful. I mean, if dad's going to come through and say, go find the third coin so that we have them all in one place. I know you're rich and famous and everything already. So, you know, you, you might need those money somewhere, this coin collection. Tell me where it is, dad. Give me some great information, right? Well, he doesn't. Now there's a bird in the house and it's a funny story about how they were trying to grasp it. Okay. Sounds extremely expensive, uh, extremely specific, right? It sounds very, very specific. Go to YouTube after after you watch this. Go to YouTube and put in bird in house, and you will see countless videos of people trying to get a bird that flew in the house out, and they're all laughing and they're chasing it around. This is a common occurrence. It is extremely common but it sounds specific. So this is another one of those things they just throw out there hoping that it's going to hit something. Tyler doesn't say who it happened to. He doesn't say it happened to Matt. It doesn't say that it happened within living memory. It could have been a family memory from this older man or whoever. It could have been any bird at any time in any house. And if Matt doesn't say, oh, I remember that, then Tyler, all Tyler has to say is, well, it happened to before you were born. You just don't remember them telling you the story. So this is a myth. It's it's just made up. It, it's nothing. It's so common. It's not a big deal. Continuing. Uh, it's random details like that that can sometimes validate that someone yeah. is coming through and that they're around us. Something's had that happen. That's happened. <laughs> No kidding. Tyler says his abilities also include a sensitivity to people's medical conditions. And he picked something up from me. Do you mind if we talk about health? It's nothing serious. No, no, no. <laughs> so you have a susceptibility to something called sleep apnea. It's good to keep in mind. Uh, you're... <laughs> your dad... Well, your entire dad's side of family is coming to you and having you joke about this. It has been brought to my attention that I might snore just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, so this is commonly known that Matt Lauer has a sleeping problem. And yes, sleep nap apnea can be very serious. It can be extremely serious. So when Tyler says, well, it's not anything important. It's not It's not a big deal, this health issue. Why don't you just tell him, tell him, you know, something we don't know. So it's a common thing Matt Lauer talks about on his shows about snoring and, and having sleep problems. That's that's just a known thing. Tyler could have picked it up the last time he was on the show. Just they were talking about it from the room. And again, I don't I don't see what the what the point of it is. If Tyler's gonna say the family is bringing up sleep apnea, they're not saying anything like, can you get help for this? This is gonna get worse. Or like in the case of Alan Thick, he's just making a general statement about um, a heart and then the guy dies of a heart attack two months later so it's just a common thing to say sleep apnea uh, snoring problems all that is that's common for an american man or for any man um, it's just common so big whoop again dad's dad and my family is contacting this world-renowned medium and he wants to talk about me having snoring problems you know, let's get back to the coin. What maybe the coin is supposed to be used to put under the pillow and it's gonna sleep the slot. Oh, I don't know. It's just getting silly. <laughs> sleep <laughs> issues aside, Tyler said my dad did have another message. There's a reference to fishing, but he's talking about being spoken out loud too. I know what this is actually. I don't know if you're aware of this, but he's acknowledging that an individual would be out on a boat. I feel like I'm sitting alone and I'm fishing. And I'm thinking dad. And he's having me acknowledge this feeling of like, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Um, you know, my dad shared two passions with me. He shared golf and fishing. Nice. And um, I do go out fish a lot alone on a boat. And this idea that, that that might be a time to communicate with him or that he's attempting to communicate is um, just phenomenal to me because I spent a lot of time doing that. 
your father is so immensely proud of you. You didn't have to get where you are today for him to be proud of you. And you didn't have to get where you are today to be successful in his eyes because he was you successful regardless. I hope that that gives some insight. Yes, you know, there's nothing you could, a son or a daughter could want to hear more about their parent. Is it possible to ask and see if, if he has any things he wants to know from me? Sure, sure, sure. I just want to make sure you're happy. Beyond everything else, beyond everything that you have, just that you're happy. This is number one priority. Tell him I'm happy. Because of him. And you know what he knows. Okay, so the music is put there on purpose. It's 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 done to elicit uh, you to know when to tear up, when to get emotional, when something powerful is about to happen. This is common. Um, this is what the show does. It's it's a show. It's done to to get clicks to keep uh, money coming in and so on. He does switch. I don't know if you catch it at the end there from the older man who has a coin and who died at home and and is trying to tell you the family's trying to tell you have sleep problems, but that um, now it's to the dad. So I think there's a large gap missing from there because the show, Matt Lauer and Tyler Henry do not sit down for two or three minutes. This is like hour or more kind of reading. <clears throat> the best bits are cobbled together, edited together to make the best show possible, to make Tyler look as good as possible and Matt Lauer to look as good as possible to, because it's a TV show. So, um, yeah, it's not a problem with editing. I don't have a problem with editing. Editing is wonderful. The thing is, is that this is supposed to be a reading <clears throat> from the world of the dead, right? This is supposed to be a message. So when they do start editing things around, it's like saying, yeah, we have to make it look good. So we have to move things around. It's not straight out of whatever the, psych the, the dead wants to tell us. So the best bits are here. Now, the fishing thing is another common Matt Lauer um, known thing. Matt Lauer talks about fishing all the time. Tyler's probably been in his uh, uh, in the building in the office and seen photos of Matt Lauer with his dad in a boat. So, so Matt... Um, Probably in the conversation, it was obvious that the father had died a long time ago. Yes, he does tell us that on the show, but it was probably mentioned in there that, that the man that is coming forward, Matt is saying, that is my dad. He died a long time ago. So Tyler probably knows this by this point. And so going out in a fishing boat and contemplating and being at peace, that's common. That's very introspective. You do do that kind of thing where you go out into a boat and you go fishing and you're thinking about life and you're remembering your father because or whoever it is who took you fishing and and the circle of life and all that <laughs> my point is this is nothing so this is a cold reading i mean it could easily have been a cold reading other than just some general information about it, that matt lauer likes to fish and that matt lauer has sleep apnea which is known um, the coin thing, that's silly. The man wanting to die at home, that's common. Uh, the family telling the father it's or telling an older man it's time, it's okay to go, that's common. Uh, what is missing? Well, first off, no names are said. Why doesn't, why doesn't he just say, this man wants to get in touch with you. His name is uh, Joseph, he lived at this address. His here's his phone number. He was your maternal grandfather. He was your uncle. Whatever. Why does he not do that? Because he's not psychic. That's why. Also, he doesn't need to because it all works just by continually saying older man, whatever. So Matt Lauer could end this easily and say. Oh my gosh, that was the most amazing reading ever. And I think he does. He talks about it being so amazing. He says, I'm at peace. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Thank you, dad. I'm happy. 
well, why doesn't the dad tell him, you know, in a few months, within a year, you're going to be the butt of all jokes. You are going to be ridiculed on on every night news, I mean, any comedian ever for years. Your wife is going to leave you. You're going to be totally disgraced. Your children are going to have nothing to do with you. Your your income is going to be completely uh, eliminated because you are about to be fired. And you are going to be, um, all these people are going to accuse you of sexual abuse. They're going to talk about the button under your desk that locks the doors. And and people are going to come forward and talk about all the abuses that, that they say have been happening. This is going to get really ugly and awful for you. Why doesn't dad or somebody come forward and say, you know, Matt, here's some advice I have for you. Maybe you should do this. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. But for the father to come forward and say, I'm proud of you, boy. Good job. And you didn't even have to be a newscaster for me to be proud of you. I'm proud. I'm proud to be your father. I'm looking at you. And Matt's like, oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I bet he is happy. But nobody's told him anything about what's about to happen to him. And why? Why didn't Tyler sit down there and just sit down and look at Matt Lauer and say, holy crap, you are going to have the worst life possible coming up here in about six months. This is what's going to happen to you. Oh, man, you know, Colbert and Jimmy Farrell and everybody's going to be ripping on you. It's it's your life is about to get really awful. Why doesn't Tyler just say that? Instead, he comes out with the platitudes and he starts talking about coins. Look, guys, this stuff isn't real. I hate to be the be the one that's explaining this to you. One of the most Googled searches is how much is Tyler Henry charge for a reading or how do I get a reading with Tyler Henry? He's not going to read you. This is this is a show. All right. Tyler Henry is doing this because he's a multimillionaire because he was some kid in a, a 20 year old at a at a psychic shop somewhere. And he was found. He was discovered because he was the perfect foil for for these people in Hollywood to make into a star. He had no background. He had a pristine back, pristine life. He's a young guy, loved his mom, doesn't drive photogenic and great smile and willing to take instruction and trainable and this is not real and I hate to be the one to have to tell you that but this is the way it is this is just a show and this is evidence of it so check out my primer please like my videos um, I would appreciate if you make your comments on the videos and share and subscribe so thank you guys